also hello people that exist tried to make a different video today didn't work so we got these favorite castell 12 poly promo sorry it's night pretty much so that's why it's so dark and i don't want to turn on my overhead light uh, no I'm going to actually do art and show something i need to there i don't like having my overhead lights on it's just too bright lamp is enough but this contains white yellow orange red magenta uh, like ultramarine blue green a lighter green um light brown dark brown and black so let's try it faber castell versus prisma color just doing the like how they look Favorite Castell is very vibrant, but so is Prismacolor. Now, oranges. Prismacolor. Favorite Castell is darker, and like I'd say a bit deeper too. Then we have yellow, bright, very bright yellow. Two very bright yellows. The Prisma color's a bit lighter, but we can't get like equal colors, you know. And Faber Castell is lighter on this one. Because Prisma Color didn't have a very light green. Greens. Prisma color is bluish because that was the best, I think, of the colors. Then have like lightish blue. This is considered light ultramarine by um, Faber Castell, and it's pretty light. Then we have blues. Faber Castell does not have a dark blue in their 12 pack. I'm not sure if Prisma Color does either, because I have a much larger pack. But Faber Castell's blue is darker. Then we have these. That's very bright magenta on Prismacolor side. A darker magenta on um, Faber Castells, Polychromos. Burnt Ochre versus Burnt Ochre. Some of them I went by the name, actually. And it's lighter on the um, Faber Castell. Uh. Dark Umber versus Walnut Brown. Walnut Brown is pretty much the same. It's a bit lighter. Whites and blacks <laughs> don't really mean anything. Well, actually the blacks do. The whites you can't really tell. So black versus black. Both very deep. Prism color is a bit darker. So here are the results of color test. These colored pencils will cleanly get off of the sheet of paper. Results. Reds, oranges, grips of paper. Okay, now let's do a few gradients. gradients. So we use three successive colors. This is the second time a colored pencil has fall, fallen. So I'm using three successive colors. I'm going to do two different tests, and then I'm going to do a shading and highlighting test. Hopefully it's kind of quick. So, these three. Um, I'll make a square, I guess. Pencil, normal pencil. Normal pencil. No, I might as well do the fancy circle. Bad circle. Making four circles. 
Please my cousin your favorite castell. Please my cousin your favorite castell. Well, will be E. That is not the letter I need. So, Prisma Color. So I'm going to start by splitting it evenly, and then just laying down a coat of each color. Not using the orange yet, I mean. I'm just splitting it in half. Might as well start off. Like the orange is just to like connect the two almost. That's all it's for. Is connecting the two colors in a smoother connection. And then I'm adding color slightly. Yeah, I know this isn't the like professional way to do gradients, not even close. Then do that. Orange now to connect everything. Yellow, light here fading into red, and half of this, like, bad gradients is my fault, half of it, blame me for at least half, I mean, and then, Then that's that. A lighter coat of red. Try not to. Something that is a very blocking. Yellow to everything. And then take red to cover that. And wait, no, that is not polished at all. Over here. Sorry. Taking a long time on just one gradient. I'm not fancy, so I don't have any like cameras to show. That is my gradient. So there's. Okay. Imagine that doesn't exist. And there's the gradient. Now, Faber Castell. Okay, same deal, red gets over this side, and this is like really nice lay down, I think. Not as soft as Prismacolor, but not as smooth, I'd say, I guess, but, um, Really nice. Now that I have that, let's move into the other color. Wow. 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 Like, immediately, just adding color and, like, starting a gradient, like, um, adding each color to the other side and then recovering it. That's already kind of decent for Faber Castell. But I am going to add more starting the orange. I'm going to try to do the same thing as I did with the Prisma colors. So now, yellow over a lot, smooth everything out. And this is without a white or anything. The next, the other gradients I'm going to do, like white to soften everything up. And th that's going to be cool colors instead of warm colors. 
want. Heavy kind of on the yellow. And in less time, I believe, I'd say, wait, no, I have a bit more to do here. Smooth out the orange a bit. Use the yellow to actually smooth it out. And red just to done yet but in what I would need I think just wait need a bit more like smoothing out the something on the paper or something Ignore that color splotch. There. Now everything's good. Good. Okay. Now, using white, and then, and I'm not using that magenta. Doing dark green, light blue, and blue. So, darker green, light ultramarine, according to Faber Castell, and white. So, sorry. here goes. Watch under the paper and it ruins a ton. Okay, there. One side's good. Other side. Yes. Okay. Making sure I'm using the correct colored pencil. Now. Going in only the two main colors so far. Now, now white is being incorporated over the whole circle. Now adding more color to everything. Finally, adding a bit of light blue to the mixture. Still very light. Um, no. Not uniform at all there. Now it's time to really focus on that center part. That is <laughs> Sorry, just in my own head. And good enough. Wait, no. Need to add more color in so it doesn't just look like muted and everything. Wait. 
like it works. It just seems kind of wobbish in yeah, especially on the camera for some reason that you can see. It's dense in there. Almost like the Immediately different in color, not as bluish, which it will probably make for a better gradient. And then blue to add to the other side. Just to show. Four gradients right here. Just two colors. That center. Meaning at a center. Lighter blue still looks very crazy in the center. I'm going to add the white, which is not muting everything as much as the um, Prisma colors did, which is sometimes good, sometimes bad. This would be better for just like adding, not highlights. That would be better for it. I don't know, but. For softening things, I think this would be a bit better. Yeah. With a bit of white and I'd say because of the colors I think Prismacolor did a bit better but both did really well and I think Faber Castell 
was very nice. And that was a very nice experience of colored pencils. So, say I recommend these if you have enough money to get them. I, I don't know. Was it a discount or something? Oh, I got these. But they're kind of expensive. And Prismacolor is a much better deal. Crayola isn't as good as either of these companies, but it's much cheaper. So, like, if you can't afford it, Crayola is an amazing company. <laughs> like, t like, 12 for a dollar compared to, I think, the selling price was $35 for 12.